Hey, what's up my Koopa Troop? It's Koops and welcome back to some more Plants vs. Zombies 2. We're moving on to the second last stand area in this episode right now. Let's go ahead and see what Crazy Dave has to say. Is this last stand? We just, we just did last stand. How many last stands are there? No, it's first sit. Beep beep. Boop boop. That's sarcasm. I, I love sitting, but now it's not the time. Let's get crazy. Alright, Crazy Dave. We are on last stand. Plan your defense to defeat the zombies once again. All right, let's see how many zombies we got coming here. Last time there were so many camel zombies. Oh, boys, those guys. Okay, that's in trouble. We have less sun to work with, too. And those zombies that kill. So I need long-range zombie or plants shooting those guys right away. Mm. The repeaters worked. However, I think a combination of repeater... Let's see here. Now, if I spend 500, I have 1250 left. Ba, 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 ba. Mm, that's a thousand, a little bit less. That's a thousand, that's 25. 125 less than 1,980. Okay, 875 plus that. That would fit. Um, I'm trying to figure out my defenses. I, I think I want one of these. I want, I want cabbage pulse to help s soften those guys up. And I'm thinking maybe bloomerangs to uh, do damage at long range. But they don't do a lot of damage quickly. Maybe, maybe repeaters. But I don't have a lot. Like a th it'll cost me a thousand to plant repeaters, and then five hundred to plant those guys in the back. It'll cost me what is it? Uh, Eight seventy-five to plant all of the line of bloomerangs there. So I could plant a line of bloomerangs, eight seventy-five, and a line of that, five hundred. That would give me under budget. A thousand, I could plant 1500, but if I plant 1500's worth, then I can't plant any bloomerings. Uh, however, once all the tombstones are gone, that'd be a better setup. Not really sure. I could also just maybe not plant those and plant pea shooters instead. That'd be a thousand plus 875, which wouldn't, uh, that wouldn't have enough. Well, I'd be pretty close to having every lane with some kind of, I can try that out. Let's, let's, let's give that a try. I can't rock though yet. Let's go ahead and add. See, I'm not going to add anything else like those. Those are just risky plants with those guys coming here. Mm. All right, so let's go ahead and get a setup here. I will plant these in the far back. I will plant bloomerangs at least in... I think I'll plant them in every lane. That leaves me 375. I could plant either three of those, or I could plant two and then a bloomerang, which I might do. Or I could plant one and one repeater and a bloomerang. Maybe I'll plant the repeater right here to help get rid of that, and I can plant a bloomerang now for extra damage. In I don't know, let's guess the lane, right? Why not? Let's do it right, right there. All right, so let's rock. Maybe you should spend. You should, maybe you shouldn't spend all your sun at once, but I gotta get rid of all my stuff, so. And those guys are going to create more of them, which is really annoying. In fact, I'm going to get rid of those guys. Maybe even I should have got rid of them a little bit earlier so they didn't have a chance to plant all those things down. But I think these bloomerangs will be able to get rid of these guys in time. And as soon as they get past... And these catapults are doing damage to them as it is. So, yeah, I think we'll be good there. I do have the one repeater helping out in that one lane. Yeah, I think he's going to end up being pretty useless regardless. I think really they wanted you to just have a bunch of bloomerangs is what it's looking like again. Yikes. Look at all these zombies coming so close here. That's not cool. At least those fire zombies don't get to go in those tornadoes. Like a fire tornado that kills everything in the lane? Yeah, that wouldn't be cool at all, game. That would not be cool. However, that one wave of zombies with the uh, headgear got pretty far. The cone head, the cone zombies. They got pretty far forward. The top lane's looking a little risky too. Let's go ahead and get rid of these guys before they plant any of their stuff. Uh, I got rid of most of them. Not all of them. Except I'm trying to get rid of them before they planted their things. Because I do a lot more damage when there's not tombstones up. That's that's the news. You know, that's what's going on there. Alright, well those guys will die. They're pretty weak, which is the good news. They just kill me instantly, which is the bad news. That's why I don't like them so much. I do have enough coins to spend if I need to really save myself in, like, say, the last wave. And, oh, we're going to have some problems coming up. Oh, good, that guy died. Just in time. That was close there. Real close. Yes, repeater is essentially useless. I didn't realize how useless he would be. I would have been better off spending just a bunch more and planting a bunch more bloomerangs, but you live and learn too. 
once again. Actually, you don't, because last time I was saying I should have planted more bloomerings, and I didn't plant more bloomerings this time. Well, I did, I guess, technically plant more, because, you know, now there's at least five or six, and last time there was none, so in that sense, I've done much better. But I think maybe even two lines of bloomerings. I don't know, the cabbage pools are definitely helping. They're helping do damage to these zombies, so maybe, maybe I'm still doing all right? I don't know. This plan still might work. We'll see. I think the repeater is useless, though. That thing is useless. That could have been another cabbage bolt and done more damage that way. Hmm. Now let's see here. We are still, uh, still doing all right. I think I got, I, I don't know if you guys heard that or not. I think I got a notification on my iPad. I think. I think that, I think that play, I'm not sure if that played through or not. I heard it physically, so you might have heard it through the microphone anyways, but I'm not sure if the game actually played that sound effect. I don't think it did, so you probably just heard it through the microphone. And if you didn't, you guys think I'm crazy and you don't know what I'm talking about, which is also possible. Let's go ahead and plant this right here. Now that all the zombies are on the field, we'll do massive splash damage to most of the zombies, so that worked out fairly well. If we can kill these last couple of guys, which I think we can, there's no more real cone heads. That one guy's got half a cone left on his head. I'm not even sure how that really works like that, but that's all right. Tombstone's gonna get up in time. My repeater plant's like, damn it, I can't do anything except shoot damn tombstones all day. So, nonetheless, looks like we won. Last stand two, nice. Nice, I like that, that was good stuff. All right, now we have last stand three coming up, which I'm also very nervous about because the last stands are difficult. We did better that time than we did the first time though, that's the good news. We also had more plant food. That was nice of the game to do that. All right, the last last stand three is coming up right now. Let's go ahead and jump right into that one See what it's all about All right planning defense to defeat the zombies don't lose any lawn mowers. We can do that All right, here's my trip to ancient Egypt still going on. Okay, sarcophagus zombies fire zombies. Yikes We got we need a lot of firepower. There's a lot of strong zombies coming in here Now I can plant these that is useful, and I will be doing that actually I don't need the camel guy so I'm so worried about the the bonk choice is such good damage, but however with You know, maybe I just plant 2,000 of repeaters, you know, that'd be 10 repeaters. That'd be quite a lot of firepower And then freeze things on occasion. I think that's my that might might be what I do actually I will grab some of these just in case but uh I Think that might be seriously what I do Honestly, I can't think of much else to do so I'll go ahead and grab some of these things just for fun. Let's rock yeah, let's see how that plan goes. I don't know if that's a good plan or not a good plan, but I will do that. So here we go. We're going to plant just two of all of these. As this is maximum firepower that I can have in the game right now. Well, I have 250 sun left. I will... I could plant another one. I could plant two of those guys. I could plant... I will say... Well, I could also plant... I could also plant a whole line of, uh, of these... <laughs> of the potato mines. I mean, actually that only cost me 125. I could plant two whole lines, actually, couldn't I? As a last line of defense here? Maybe I'll do that. Hang on. Yeah, I could plant a whole other line of those. I will save them and plant another line once that line of uh, stuff is gone. I think that's a good idea. Those things are also free, the things in the front, so I will save those and I'll plant those with plant food to go ahead and freeze those. For right now, I need to, maybe I should do that at the start too though help soften up these zombies I don't know maybe I'll let them maybe I'll let these guys get hit by the potato mines I don't know so they broke through those pretty quickly we'll see though that one cone zombie is still making his way through I could also just use it on a regular guy I think that cone zombie will die in time this guy might not will he please don't hit the potato mine oh he didn't good I'll freeze this guy I think we can I think we can kill these zombies off without using that stuff right now all right, that one zombie definitely worries me. Oh, and I lost that one. That's unfortunate. That's real unfortunate there. The other one should die, though. That guy will die now. He lost an arm. This guy in the back is going to be annoying. Let's go ahead and actually add this here. That'll plant a couple more. That actually kind of was a complete fucking waste. So that was really stupid of me. I kind of forgot that it wouldn't fire all over the area. That's unfortunate. In fact, I might have... Maybe I should plant one cabbage pole so I can do splash damage because that has such a good fire effect. And oh boy, I'm gonna need to go ahead and do this right away, aren't I? That kind of sucks. 
Yeah, that was not a good use of anything. Okay, so now I have no more plant food either. Wow, I failed this one miserably. I wasted that one plant food, which is why that's killing me so badly. Uh, that one plant food's gonna do actually pretty good stuff there. So that actually ended up being very useful in that regard, but... I think maybe having at least one cabbage pole that could have done damage would have been the right answer instead. That could, I could use for splash damage. Okay. And these repeaters, I mean, I don't know. I mean, maybe I need bong choy. I'm not sure. Because these guys are just, they're doing damage, but not really that quick. I'm not sure. And maybe I just need to trust my repeaters more. To do damage quicker to these guys. I don't know. Let's go ahead and freeze this guy. I don't have any more, I don't have any more of these uh, plant food. So it's not like that's going to be helping me out anyways. I'm just go ahead and freeze these guys. I could always plant more of these things, and maybe I will as a last line. No, but now they take time to respawn, so gotta be careful with that. I think this is I think this is the right setup. I think maybe I just messed up my execution. I still look like I might be okay. Maybe I'll be okay. We'll see. My double my uh, repeaters do a good job killing these guys off. I'm very nervous for this last wave considering I have no stuff prepared for it, but I do have like, for example, I'm gonna, like, this guy right here could be a problem, as there's a guy behind him. In fact, I will probably go ahead and freeze this guy right now to get rid of him as quick as possible. I could have also frozen the guy behind him. That was one of my other options. I'm going to go ahead and wait on that guy. There we go. Finally, that thing broke. I think I can kill him in time as well as the guy behind him. That was, that was my reasoning behind it. Gotta be careful, though. This guy's pretty close. Pretty darn close. Lost the arm. Come on. There we go. Okay, that was close. That was risky. Definitely a risky venture there, but you know, that's how it goes. Let's see, I'm gonna go and plant one more, right, I'm trying to see where the ones that come, right there. Oh, are those guys gonna make it through, no. Oh, that guy did get rid of the way, okay. So that was bad, that was bad luck. Unfortunately, I'm gonna go and freeze that guy. That top lane will be okay, it'll kill, the hey, it might not be okay, but we're gonna hope for the best. <laughs> I might need to actually walnut that, so I will probably just go ahead and do that. Slow down those zombies. This bottom lane, this lane right there is also risky. That second lane should be okay. It should be okay. That's just to slow that guy down a little bit. I think it did its job. That lane's okay. Oh no, that zombie hasn't been touched at all, is he? That's bad, and I got... I'm probably gonna have to use it. I'm probably gonna just spend some money, which is really unfortunate. Really unfortunate. Oh boy, if I had one extra plant food right now, I'd be okay. But that thing's not spawned up in time. Oh, pinch. I spent my cheap one, but oh well. Oh well. So we did win. Had to go ahead and cheat at the end. That sucks! Kind of mad about that. That's unfortunate, but that's the way it goes sometimes. But I hope that the pharaohs had some hairs. Why? Why? Why do they have some hair? Why? 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 I guess I was their last stand too. I guess they're happy that I beat the last stands. It's very unusual for them to pop out at the end there. But all right, we're gonna continue on here, having defeated all of those, which I'm very happy about. Nice. Done with all of those. Let's go ahead and start the first level or the first star of level 10 real fast here. Don't lose more than two plants. All right, we can probably do that. Got to be careful here in what we plant. Oh boy, we got a bunch of stuff. Don't lose more than two. I think the Grave Busters count as losing plants once again. So, yippity ki -yay, that's always fun. Those count as losing plants too. Oh boy, oh boy, um. Should be good with this setup. Should be good, I think. Yeah, it's a little risky. Yar, it's a little risky, but we'll be okay. I think we'll be okay. Let's go and do what I did last time, which is setting up my basic sunflowers and then planting the cabbage pulse behind them, as that seemed to work the best. That seems to be the best strategy at the start of the game. We have a bunch of these tombstones in the way. The cabbage pulse just fire over top of them. They do enough damage to finish off any zombie that's coming in the way. I can plant these basic sunflowers to do. You know, give me my basic sun until I can start planting my double guys later on. That seemed to work out very well for me. I'll go ahead and plant that down. That's a little early to plant. I probably should have planted a sunflower first, as that would have been the best use of my timing. But nonetheless, I think it will work out okay. It's a it's a it's probably slightly less sun overall. So in that regard, it's a it's a bit worse of a strategy. 
I had enough time to plant the next guy, but it's gonna be okay as I got lucky and that one zombie's still coming in the exact same lane, so that is the best. That was the best for me in that regard. So they come in the same lane, I only have to plant one attacking zombie at the start. Or one, one attacking plant at the start, excuse me. That, not what I meant. Let's go ahead and start getting rid of some of these tombstones in these lanes here. Oh, I got a little unlucky. Maybe I should have waited, because now that zombie came in the other lane, not too much of a problem. This guy's gonna still finish him off in time. I wanna start planting my double my double sunflowers pretty soon to start making some moolah but for now I'm gonna keep working on these tombstones using these cabbage pulse that one zombie should die in time it'll be a little close hopefully he dies in time I don't know he hasn't taken a lot of damage yet actually he hasn't lost his arm just yet that's kinda of bad news kinda of bad news right there uh, I don't have any plant food either he did lose his not lost his arm yet oh boy he's um He's making his way. He's going the distance right there, guys. He is, uh... He's, um... He lost... He got through one plant, which is very annoying, to be honest. <laughs> so let's go ahead and start adding some... I'm gonna add bloomerangs this time around, see if they help out a little bit. I did lose one plant. It's not the end of the world, but it is highly annoying. Highly annoying. Now, this, this one tombstone is not gone yet, and I can't get rid of it till his other plants are gone. <laughs> Those zombies are gone. So annoying. I'm gonna add that one there. I don't have a lot of damage output just yet, but please finish off that tombstone. I want to plant something there. It is so in the way. I need that. I need that catch to finish it off. Thank you. Thank you. It's about time. I need that one gone a long time ago, actually. I need some more sun too, by the way. <laughs> that would be uh, a okay. That would be great, actually, at this point in time. Add that to that lane. That is a safe, protected lane right there, which is why I did that. I'm adding some more bloomerings. I'm going to add one right here to get rid of this guy. He's also got some plant food for me, so come to Papa. Give me that plant food. Now with bloomerings there, that should help get rid of those tombstones a little bit quicker. Just a teensy bit quicker. I mean, the cabbage bolts do a good job, but as soon as a zombie walks in the lane, which they do quite often, Cabbage Pulse immediately changes its enemy, which is good. That's the good. That's why you want Cabbage Pulse. However, it's also kind of annoying because I don't get rid of these tombstones very quickly at all with that setup. Now, these boomerangs are doing a lot of splash damage. Or not splash. They're doing a lot of damage throughout all of the zombies, which is why they're useful. As the Cabbage Pulse really don't do that much. They only do damage to the first zombie, you know, so that's why they're not as good sometimes. But I think we're doing pretty well here. A couple of camel zombies are coming in. This is where the boomerangs shine and do their most damage. Go ahead and do firepower on all zombies here. Just kill a couple of them off. Because that flag zombie still had not died, which is not cool of the game at all to have that guy still alive. Now I can start saving up for repeaters and adding repeaters in, as that will be, I think, the next best thing to add. Because they will do the most damage quickly. Now, I don't want to get too far forward, as then I will be in trouble. And in fact, this lane's going to have a little bit of trouble here. Now I won't have trouble. There we go. Nicely done. That's what I like to see. Now, he should be able to kill off that stuff in time. See, now the repeaters will be useful. Once there's no tombstones in the way, they are actually useful. When there's tombstones, they're not. Not so useful, but they are they're good to go now. Oh, now I'm just killing off all the zombies. We're, we're, we're good at this point in time. I think we're going to be pretty clear to go. We can't lose any more. We can lose one more plant. I think that's it, right? And I'm already experimenting with losing these last plants in, these bot in this bottom lane, so i got to be careful here off that guy if I can real quickly that'd be nice this guy this one guy has been throwing this um throwing these tombstones around that I do not appreciate it, especially as he's essentially rendered my one my one guy really useless in that one lane unfortunately I'm gonna maybe plant bonk choice I don't want to lose it just yet though um oh that was the wrong plant oh my gosh I meant to plant a bonk choy there planted the wrong plant oh boy that sucked I clicked on that guy instead of the bonk choy. How did I even do that? That's unfortunate. Well, I ended up losing that plant. It did stall the zombie. The bonk choy would have been a much better choice. Uh, oh boy. Well, nonetheless, I will add these. It's kind of risky because the more plants you add, the more likely I am to lose them, you know? But I think they will help as a last line of defense. The only thing I'm worried about is those fire zombies, but I think the bonk choy still will be a... They, they just... They're just a good use of a good plant, a good universal plant. Now I gotta be careful of that one guy getting kinda close. Like I said, they scare the crap out of me, but 
I do have a lot of plant food too. In fact, too much plant food. Let's go. Let's go on that guy. All right, now against this final wave of zombies coming in here, I want to go ahead and plant some of these guys in the back here. First do massive splash damage, and then another one do massive splash damage. And now I can focus my last couple of remaining fire powers on, say, this guy right here. So let's go ahead and do that. Nice. All right, the victory was ours once again. Nice. So it was a little close there to potentially losing, but we still managed to pull out the victory. So that is the good news there. Happily, we lost. We won that one, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed that episode. Next time, I will be finishing off the last two stars in this world or this level 10. And we'll be moving on after that. So till then, guys, take it easy. Peace.